What's going on? TJ Clark here. Um, right now I'm sitting about 268, 5'10", um, getting ready to go into a good off season, uh, get loaded up for next year, get the plan ready, scheduled out. Uh, this past year I did USA's, got top 10, ninth place. Um, not what I wanted, you never want ninth, but uh, looking to improve on this year and uh, see if we can get that top five or better. Okay. Uh, you did uh, you did legs today, bud. Can you tell us about the movements you did and what you like about each movement? Yeah, I had a solid leg workout today. Um, started off with squats. That's uh, definitely a movement I, I use at least two out of three leg workouts. Uh, I like to go heavy. I went up to six plates today, 585 for six. Felt pretty good. Uh, went to leg press after that. Went pretty heavy there, loaded it up, did a big drop set. Started getting volume in at that point. Did, I think it was about a 100 rep drop set, and uh, everything from then on was a little higher reps, 15, 20. I uh, went on to uh, seated leg curls, lying leg curls, seated leg curls, lying leg curls, and uh, standing leg curls. Uh, did some leg extensions, a couple of sets of 15, 20 there, and uh, finished on a horizontal leg press. Okay. Now with the, with the, uh, your reps and stuff, but do, do you always go higher rep or do you do heavier weight or what do you like? I like to mix it up and do a combo. Uh, I've lifted heavy on legs my whole life. I've always been a squatter. Uh, I think you need heavy weights to grow legs. I've, uh, like I said, always go heavy on squats. Um, the other stuff, I'm, I mix it up. I think uh, just for the sake of injury, I don't go heavy all the time. Uh, that's why I like the volume on legs. You do a ton of reps, just get a ton of blood flow. It seems to work. Okay. And uh, what are your plans for next year, Ray? Uh, next year, I'm looking at USA's. Um, do a little longer prep this time. I need to work on conditioning. Um, muscles there, you could always be bigger, but conditioning's going to win shows. And just like say diet a little longer, push a little harder, and see what happens. And what do you usually, I know you're heavy weight, what's your weight like around uh, showtime, buddy? This last year, I weighed in right at 225. Um, could have been tighter, I know that, and that's what we're going to work on. Hopefully we get some good growth this year. Uh, I'd like to hit 280 by the end of the year and come down from there. Whether I'm heavies or super heavies, I don't know yet. Um, I won't worry about the weight, I'll worry about the look. Okay. What, uh, now we're here at Metroflex, but what, um, what drove you into the industry, bud? What do you like about the sport that kind of got you into it? Um, I've worked out since I was 13, you know, started off playing football, lifting weights. Uh, once football was over, I didn't know what to do. I, I did some powerlifting early, uh, liked that a lot, and then got into the bodybuilding, looking at the magazines, you know, and thought I can, I can do that, and you know, jumped into a show and just kind of progressed from there. Uh, been a personal trainer. That's that helps a lot. Keeps you focused. Uh, keeps you in the gym. You're around competitors all day, especially at a place like Metroflex. Uh, destination here is is a great environment. We have some of the best competitors in the world. Uh, it's a good place to train. It's a good place to stay motivated. Okay, if people are trying to or want to contact you, what about training or something? What's the best way to reach you? Um, you can get on the Metroflex Plano website. You can get me uh, on Facebook. Uh, my email Travis Justin Clark at Yahoo. Um, TJ Clark eighty one is my Instagram. So any of those, hit me up. We can talk about contest prep. Uh, see if we can get you in the right direction. Okay, well, definitely we'll keep an eye out for you next year, man, and uh, have a good rest of your off season. I will. I'm uh, training hard and heavy, and uh, look out for me in July in Vegas.